Five minutes, five minutes, ladies. Hola, mi amigos. Hola, Venezuela. <laughs> Rumors are circulating in Spain that Marta Sanchez could sing for the country at Eurovision 2016 in Stockholm. She, of course, just released the album 21 Days earlier this year. Are you guys feeling Miss Marta Sanchez? Oh, my God. We cannot contain our excitement. It is Great news. Yeah, I, I politely have to disagree. No, I think Malta. The I think, I mean, Malta's like, she's good, but I feel like Spain needs to go back to its national selection format. I think they need choice, not internally selecting someone. And I think, yeah, they need someone of like real strong vocal caliber. And I'm not so Malta Sanchez as that girl. I'm sorry, there, there is a reason that Marta Sanchez is going to be a guest on what is it, The Voice of Ecuador? Coach on The Voice of Ecuador. She knows how to sing. How many albums has she had? Seven! Seven albums. I think she's over 50 now. She is a legend, a diva. She's like Cher, but younger and in Spanish. I am loving her. Like, I don't know if you heard her with her song 21 Days. It's so moving. Her voice is smoky. It's sexy. Some people say she's too old. I don't buy that. You know what? We never had a trans gender or drag queen win until Kachita Burst. You know what I mean? Just because an old person hasn't won lately doesn't mean they can't win. I think Ms. Marta Sanchez is a breath of fresh air. She's got experience. I want to see her on fire in Stockholm. And I also think that Eurovision should be a platform that actually rewards artists who have kudos. And, you know, um, it's good to have amateurs come in, but it seems to be the, the fodder we get these days. And there are established artists who need a wider platform, and I think Eurovision lends itself to that idea. I think Spain needs new talent. I think we've seen them set established stars, I mean, what, since like 2012, really? Plus the store oh, there. Oh, they should be told. Oh, they they do ask when you Ruth Lorenzo, Edani, they're all big stars, but I think they need new talent and someone that can actually get a hit across Europe, because that's the thing that's missing in Spain, is promotion. Well, it's funny you say that, because our reader, Pastora Soler Ha Ha, says, quote, she is old and nothing new for Eurovision. The worst part is how nice she is. Stop the divas from my country, please. Now, I don't have anything wrong with divas. Perhaps she's calling here for a male artist, but we saw how Daniel, Daniel Dye just went down. He came 15, he did pretty well. Oh, the song was awful. I'll go figure you. Oh, God. Are you tired of women? I'm not tired because I think her dynamic is hard done by, but I do think new talent is the way they need to go because these are cyber stars. They have great stage presence, they know how to own the stage, mm -hmm. they know how to work it, and like they had a great song punish with Peter Bostrom, Tony Santos, and whatever. Yeah. But really, you look at the countries that have won recently, and it is mostly like Lena for Germany, a country that's historically done quite badly, not well. Mm. They've won new star, new talent, hit song across Europe, and she won. And I think that's what True. the big five needs to succeed. Amelie de Forest was a it's fresh face. For Denmark, because I mean, like, Mons Amelie is oh. different for Sweden, because he's I'm a sorry, foreign. I'm so bored of this. But you know what? What I'm going to say is this. Eurovision has taught me that it is not about victories anymore, it's about participation. And Idurne going oh, in. Ah, Miss Universe just entered the room, thank you. What are you. Uh, you know what? That's what it's about. Yes, okay, Emily the Forest won. Or, you know, she can't even resurrect her career post Eurovision. Listen. These people have a catalogue. One of her videos has clocked 222 million views on YouTube. Bring that, yeah. bring that fan base to the context. It's not always about new fresh faces. There's X Factor for that. There's the voice for that. Listen. Eurovision needs to bring my divas on board. Listen, but I think the fact that Marta Sanchez is an older diva is fresh. Do you see what I'm doing I there? Do you see what I'm doing there? She's old and that's what makes us new. She's not old like Bonnie Tyler. She's interesting and new because a lot of us don't know Latin American music or I'm sorry Spanish language music and she is owning it So it's gonna be fresh to our ears even if she is well known in Spain and Latin America already And the United States of America where she's notched two billboard number ones with the Latin charts Oh on the Latin charts On the Latin charts right. So you know I, I think that's I think that's really amazing. I mean, I get what Angus is saying, and that, I have to say, Angus's point of view is probably the general point of view, because that's what, you know, that's the voice of the people. But I, I need my divas in the contest. I really do. I just think 
You can have your divas, but if you want to win, I think Spain needs to go back to the drawing board and really think about it. Think about promotion, because that's not what they've done no, recently. Really. I mean, you, can, you look at Adani, did she appear at Melfest? Did she appear at Malogamy? Did she do any appearances in the Balkans? Like, much did she leave Spain? Up. Did she exactly. leave that little... Yeah. Did she leave her apartment <laughs> in Madrid? Yeah, did she leave that little podium that she, she couldn't even move on it? Yeah. yeah, I think the easiest way to pick up support isn't by going to the big selections, it's by going to the little countries where you can actually impact the televote. Go to Malta, they have a small population, everyone watches TV, they recognize you, that's how you notch up the points. Go to Latvia, go to San Marino, go, you know, don't go to bloody UK where like people probably aren't going to watch some kind of promo, promo event. You gotta play it smart, and I think Spain is the up now.